Well, for one final time this season, a very good evening and welcome along to the Stouffer Press Clubhouse for the big home show here at King's Home. It's been a difficult old evening for the Cherry and Whites. They lost by 22 points to 25 to sale, but we're here for some really big reasons, everybody, and it's the final big home show of the year. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My word, do we have a show for you this evening. We're going we're gonna to do a bit of rugby chat because we have to, but not too much. Don't worry about that. Tonight is all about celebrating a couple of people who are leaving the Cherry and Whites uh, to go on to, I was going to say bigger and better things, but they're not really. They're not going to do any of that. Uh, but what they are going to do, though, is have their head shaven, and we'll chat more about that in the next 20 minutes or so. But alongside me this evening, as ever, for one final time this season, we have Mark Atkinson, everybody. Thank you. Cheers, Robbie. Um, yeah, we'll keep the rugby chat to a minimum tonight, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's not a full rugby show. We're here to celebrate some good men, aren't we? It is the plan, indeed. We also have joining us for her second appearance on the Big Home Show from the No Tackle podcast, it's Millie Wood, everybody! <laughs> Right then. So I know we said that we're going we're gonna to chat to a couple of legends earlier. We do have to do a li just a little bit of chat on the game first because it was a, it was a difficult afternoon. So close yet so far uh, for the Cherry and Whites. They lost by 22 points to 25 to Sail Sharks. Mark, it's been a difficult sort of month or two for the Cherry and Whites. But nonetheless, it was some atmosphere this afternoon. And the game in the second half at least lived up to it. Yeah, it is. The atmosphere is never, a, never a, a problem. It's never, never dips, does it? But it's just a shame. Probably sums up part of the season, really. Some really good moments. Uh, probably not clinical enough in the right areas. Giving ourselves opportunities to score that we didn't take, and and, and just largely frustrating. Uh, I'd say that probably a lot of frustration amongst the crowd. Um, you know, we, we thank everyone for turning up every week, but we we know it needs to be better. And there's a, an awful lot of frustration today. Millie, they were, though, in the game, Gloucester, this afternoon, and it was a really good sales side, you know, pushing for the title this, this, this year. And for them to come here and be put under such pressure and such a test from the Cherry and Whites, yes, they blew some chances, but nonetheless, they were in that game right until the dying moment. So that was important, even for going forward. Yeah, I think the thing with Gloucester is it's an emotional roller coaster, isn't it? Whether that's uh, the highs or the lows, it's unpredictable. You're on the edge of your seat. And the roar of King's home from the first game of the season back to today, one of the last home games, you know, you can't beat it. And, and despite what we're seeing on the pitch, the fans are always just diehard fans. And that's what you've got to love about the club, isn't it? I mean, that was some atmosphere this afternoon, Mark. We'll come on to Billy Trail, 12 Trees in a bit, but the, the Lewis Reed Zamet try, there, there were some moments of absolute brilliance. And, and of course, we've got to focus on Adam Hastings, people like him being back in the side as well. Yeah, there, there was loads of, you know, we saw some sort of moments of brilliance, of individual moments. And like I said, it just wasn't quite clinical enough. I think boys will be kicking themselves because we know there's, there's been plenty of teams that have been there for the taking, but, you know, say, say we're there, weren't we? We missed two chances in the first half in the corner. Um, I think any other day Zam scores the first one, I think, but we thought he had another five minutes there with his pace. So, you know, that, that's a massive shame to not go in in the lead at half time and then to come out and I felt like we really did take control of it in that, in that second half. 15, 20 minutes in, we really looked like we were getting comfortable and yeah, some, some sort of strange decisions, a little bit not clinical enough and, and that's what happens in this league. Been through the mill uh, uh, to the Cherry and Whites fans this season, as, as, we, as is often the way, but um, this season, how do you, I know we've just finished on the final game at, at King's Home, but how do, would you think that the players are reflecting on the season in, in, in a couple of weeks' time when sort of the emotion goes away from it? It's, it's probably one of the biggest learning curves we've had. Um, a lot of players have played a lot of rugby they didn't expect to play, potentially. Um, a lot of players will probably be better for it this time next year, but that, that's not, you know, fans want to see winning on the day and, and we want results instantly. So we're not happy with that as it is, but there'll be a lot of players that this time next year can sort of say, look back to some of these moments and think that they're better players for it. So that's all we've got to hope for. And, and, and hopefully some some kicking practice for Ben Morgan out there as well. So we'll, we'll come back to that later in the show as well. We'll make sure we touch on that. I'm not letting him get away with that. We, we certainly will come on to it. I want to quickly as well, before we lose you, Millie, I know you've got places to be. Before we lose you, I want to come on to, I want to, come on to uh, Gloucester Hartbury as well this afternoon. A difficult loss as well for Gloucester Hartbury uh, and the Allianz Cup. They lost by 20, what was it, 21 points to 22 to Saracens. Uh, but nonetheless, Gloucester Hartbury are flying and still could win trophies this season. Yeah, mentioned it last time I was here. We've got 
the Prem final here on the 24th of June, I think it is, uh, the prospect of the Gloucester Hartbury girls is, is phenomenal. So uh, if you can come to any games, please do. And the final's going to be massive. And, you know, my sell last time was going to be that the, that the girls were the successful Gloucester team, and that didn't go to plan. But today, it's gone to plan. If you want to see a successful winning Gloucester team, the girls is where it's at. Okay, so... <laughs> So far, we're at a, a loss for the men and a loss for the women. Would we like some better news? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give you some better news because England, by the way, have beaten Ireland by 48 points to nil in the Six Nations. Yeah. More, more Thank so God, imagine it. if they had lost as well, blimey. Uh, Millie, the Red Roses continue to run riot. And seven of the starters were Gloucester Hartbury players. Let's just mention that. Um, Tatiana Hurd, absolutely flying. I think she's scored every game so far. Um, and, you know, they bring that quality back to the club game. Um, and it's really testament to what, the, what we're doing at Gloucester and having that many international players. Um, but, yeah, I think Red Roses are on for a uh, Grand Slam next week. Twickenham against France can be huge. How impressed, Mark, have you been with the Red Roses? I mean, they, they're a side that just continue, continue to impress, no matter where they're playing, no matter what the circumstances are. Yeah, and I think part of the staying at that level, when you're winning so significantly, it is hard to maintain that level at times. So that's probably one of the most impressive things about them at the moment, that you, know, you can go away and you start to win by 20, 30, 40 points, but to do that consistently is really impressive. So, yeah, fair play to what they're doing. Okay, lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, Millie, listen, we're going to say goodbye to you for one unless, final time on the big home show. Oh, go on. Go unless on, Mark. you want to shave your head. No, but do you want to shave no, your no, head? No, no, no. Okay, Mark, what, Mark definitely have... wants to shave his head. Don't worry. Give it up for Millie Wood, everybody. Thank you, Millie. Wonder how, uh, wonderful to have Millie once more on the Big Home Show. Uh, we're going to be joined a little later on by Billy Twelve Trees. We are celebrating people this evening, people that are departing uh, King's Home at the end of the season. One person that is departing is Geordie Reed. Geordie, Geordie, Geordie. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Hey, so, um, George, firstly, I think there's a lot of people. Can we give Geordie a bigger cheer than that? Geordie's, I think... There's, I don't think there's many people that have arrived in the club in a short space of time, let's say. What is it, four years now? Arrived uh, mid-Covid? Three, oh, 2023, three you years. Know, the, and also, he sort of pissed everybody off at the start as a player because he actually completed the milk challenge. So there's a reason he's still got these beautiful locks. is because he's one of the few people to ever complete the milk challenge, didn't you, on that fateful day? Yeah, I, I remember uh, Chess came up to me and he... He didn't want to actually do it, cut my hair, so he's like, just please, please complete it, mate, because I'll feel bad. Well, Richard Herbard arrived at the club. He refused to do the milk challenge, so that's why Geordie instantly went to legendary status by taking on the <laughs> challenge and completing it. Um, but no, there's not many people that have arrived and made such an impact both on the group and on the fan base. Um, Jordan, how would you reflect on your time, firstly? Oh, I loved it. It's, um, you know, a bit of a... Bit of a sad day, you know, knowing this will be the last time I'll be at King's Home as a, as a player anyway. Um, but yeah, the last three years has, has been probably my most enjoyable rugby I've been involved in. So um, yeah, definitely going to miss it. And obviously, we, we see this glorious head of hair. Um, I saw Nat walk through, uh, Nat, Geordie's, Geordie's wife and little one there, right? So Nat's actually never seen you without these, has she? <laughs> no, so, I don't know, it could be... Yeah. This could be you know, a real it's, mega break. Yeah. <laughs> if Geordie needs... If Jordan needs a spare room, I've got a spare room tonight if you need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There could be divorce papers on the kitchen table <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> and we're concerned about Maxie. Maxie's also Jordy's, what was it, 18 months? Yeah, he's one and a half, yeah. Yeah, so, so he's never seen his dad without hair either, so no, we're no. excited for that tonight. And, no. And Jordy, just so that everyone here knows, you're not just getting your hair shaved off because you fancy it and you fancy putting your family life on the line. There's a serious reason for it this evening. Explain to us. Yeah, so obviously, as everyone would know, um, Doing it for the Forehead Foundation. Um, Give it up for the Forehead Foundation. Uh, you know, I always thought uh, when I when I shave the dreads, I'll, I'll do it for a cause. Um, and then obviously this is one that that's pretty close to my heart. So I thought, you know, there'll be this is something that I can try to contribute a little bit. It's only a small part, um, but you know, I'm not going to find a more worthwhile reason to do it. Well, you say it's a small part, because we ha it's actually a very big part, because I can tell you how much we've raised so far for the 4Ed campaign. And by the way, you can still donate to this, and you, you better do it when Geordie gets his hair finally shaved off. All you need to do is head to Just Giving and search for 4Ed Shave. The number, 
13,300 pounds. That can be improved live though, can't we? We need to borrow a hat and we'll just pass the hat round, okay? Any cash lying around, nobody deals in cash anymore, but I will make sure, I know some of you as well, so I'm gonna count this when this goes round. There we go, start For to the pass this round. <laughs> we'll make sure you get your hat round. There you go, pass it through the crowds. I see you at the back as well, but don't put your hand in you. He's not got anything in his hand, he's just gonna dip it in. But George, um, before we go across there, we know that you don't own a bike. You, you don't own a bike, you can't row anything, but you can shave your dreadlocks. Should we start this process? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey? <laughs> so, we've got everybody's favorite barber. And do you wanna say hello to the crowd? Man, hello, Luca. This is Luca from Camo. He's responsible for some of the, sh the terrible lids that the boys have on a weekly basis. And he's going to be starting the process, is he? But if anybody wants to put, I don't know, a big donation into there, we can get you in to shave one of the dreads as well. So yeah, if, anybody's, yeah. if anybody's really shouting, I'm talking a sizable donation, OK? Just to say as well. Aki, Aki, just to say as well, just to say as well, Geordie, we do have, we do have a friend to, that, that's come along to watch this as well. It's only Lewis Ludlow. Nat should do it, Nat should do it. Yeah, I feel Nat like this might it. help the process of the divorce, but if we can get Nat in to maybe cut the first dread. She's been waiting eight years for this, probably. So this is chaotic. Just so, just so you're in the know with what's happening, if, you, if you're on the live stream, we're gonna get Geordie's other half to do the first cut. So Lewis Ludlow's gonna watch on. Let's go. Send it, Nat. Are we ready? Should we do a countdown? Ready? In three, two, two one. one. Yeah! <laughs> And they're off. Oh, no. oh it's going. Oh, be There's kind, no Aki, be back. kind. Keep going, keep going. Get him gone, get him gone, get him gone. There's the king, isn't it? That's the one we've drunk out of for that's the last the mother dread, years. keep the mother dread. Keep that one. That'll come back on the end of season social, that's for sure. Yeah, there's some punishments to come from that dread, isn't there? Joe, talk us through this dread. What, what sort of things are... Keep that mic away from me. First time on the show, keep that mic away. Um, George, this dread, the mother dread, um, just explain that to people. It is... Uh... It's basically, it was just the, the thickest one and dunked it in a few rum and cokes and drunk out of it and lots of different stuff. I don't know what's, what's in there, probably a bit of mold and a bit of whatever, but you're very close to my Get heart. Get the clippers in. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave you to it. Let's speed that process up, Camo. Let's get, get, gonna, get the clippers let's get, into him. It let's get that moving. Time. It might take some time. We might need to we might need to string the show out a little bit. Uh, but a reminder, you can still donate to the Just Giving page. Head to Just Giving, search for Four Ed Shave, and that is where you'll be able to donate uh, to Geordie's haircut. Right, we have a second guest to bring up. We've got well, I say we've got Lewis Ludlow. We're going to get a third guest up and a second guest that is leaving the Cherry and Whites at the end of the season. He's been here for 11 years. He's represented the Cherry and Whites on over 270 appearances. He came on today and I thought for a second he was going to play scrum half. Please give a huge, huge welcome to Billy 12 Trees. Bill, that's that sort of what you, you mean to the crowd. I don't think we see many people, this is the, probably the one time I'll be nice to you, I don't think we see many people within sport that sort of get appreciated the way they deserve. I think our crowd fully show you, don't they, on a weekly basis, what you mean to them, and it, it does mean a lot to them that you're actually leaving. Uh, do you want to sum up your time here if you can? Um, Why is it being nice to you? <laughs> you two are This is very strange for me. Mark, we've played along each, alongside each other for many years and there's normally a shouting match between us getting into each other. But um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's come to support me in my time here. Um, you've made me very welcome, not being a local lad. I've tried to embrace the culture, the club, and um, everyone's been hugely supportive, me and my family. And um, I just want to say thank you very much. Loved every minute, and I'll be back in the future to watch, just like you guys as fans for these boys playing. And I um, just want to say thank you. You're an amazing crowd, amazing set of fans. So thanks very much. Bill, call Bill. Bill, it's all nice. We've thanked the crowd a lot. You've thanked, they want to know some dirt. Give us something. Call Apples Apples. What does that mean? You've embraced the culture. What does that mean to you? Who's been that culture? Who's, 
who's meant the most to you throughout the years. You've had 12 years. You must not, have seen some. You. you must have seen some characters in the changing room, <laughs> other than other than on this stage, Bill. Um, I just, sorry, I can't can't take my eyes off Geordie Reid there. Wow. <laughs> luckily, it's not. Oh, look at him. Geordie now. <laughs> Geordie Reid, the Claire Ball from yeah. behind, isn't he? It's lovely that. Luckily, Don't worry, Billy, you've, yeah, got that, you've got that like all to look forward to. We'll come on to that. We'll come oh, on to that shortly. Little Max. Little oh, Max is over. Max. Um, oh, he's gutted. Max wants them stuck back on. Max. Maxi. I love that we now have people walking. Away. Maybe we should auction off the hair as well. There's another fundraising oh, yeah, effort. We'll like do it. that instead. Um, oh, Billy, if we just come back to your career just sorry. for a second. So uh, over 11 years, as you said here, with the Cherry and White. So what's, what stood out? If you can give us a couple of moments over that time, what, what, what would the highlights be? Um, I think uh, James Hook banged a, a, like a 55-meter penalty over on, I think it was oh, New Year's. Are in. New Year's. Uh, oh, Geordie. Oh, the Clippers Ooh. are in. You know what? I thought I thought we were going to chat. I thought we were going to chat rugby and Billy's World Tree's career, but clearly this is this is actually much more entertaining. No offence, Billy. We, we appreciate everything you've done, but this is quite remarkable. Bill, you've been Bill, you've been a legend. Well done. I'm going to go and speak to Jordy. Jord, it's it's looking amazing, mate. How you feel? How you feeling? Yeah. I'm excited. I can't. Re I haven't really seen it yet, but um, I'm trying to see off on the telly. You said Brad Pitt in Troy, didn't you? Is that what you were? That's what you were originally looking at. Yeah. I'm probably giving him a few, few extra bump ups here. Yeah. Mate, you're really wearing it well. I'll leave him with that. Do you want to leave him with the fire tuck? Gibbo, do you want to get in there? Are you sure? Have to leave with the fire tuck. Cut in. Leave with the fire tuck. Leave it as is. No, I don't want. Honestly, I don't want to leave it too. Carry on with Bill. Quite, quite incredible. Don't forget, by the way, a reminder again, you better get donating to this. Head to the Just Giving page, uh, search for Four Ed uh, Shave. Uh, Billy, if we, we'll, you know what, we'll try, we'll try chat one more time about Billy and, you, and your so, career. Bill. I Bill, say that, we, Chris Harris is now over, so Bill, I don't so, know. This has just, just gone off the rails think, and I'm okay with it. I think as we, um, as, we, as the week went on, Bill, the pressure improved, didn't it? So. Started the process, Geordie was doing his hair, we were at a certain amount. All of a sudden, whispers got round that you might go back to the haircut that we saw you play your first year in. Some would argue your best years have been played with a bald head. Are you going to do it tonight then? Um, yeah. Mate. Yeah? Ed, Ed's staring Ed's at me. Ed's so. Are we going to start it? Come Just on, Bill. Come, ah, on, come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Get it going, Bill. Aki, we've, we've also got... So so Billy's going to head over, and we've also been joined by someone very, very important. We also have Ed Slater, everybody. Woo! Oh, my word, it's all going to kick off. So a reminder, currently we stand at £13,300, but we want to get that up. So get your phones out now if you're in the crowd. If you're watching at home, go on to Just Giving. You can do it in a couple of Just minutes. Wait. So, so Please simple. Relax. Search for Fort Ed Shave. Please believe us, we had a practice run at this, but all these idiots didn't turn up. Okay, we can't be prepared for these idiots turning Jordy up, taking class. over the show. Jordy, unbelievable. Chris Harris has arrived. What a season yes. Chris Harris has had. <laughs> Start again. With Ed. Sweet, sweet. I've been sent over. So, get crack on, mate. Crack on. Do you want to go and do a few? Oh. Is Georgie down? Is Georgie down? Any of your kids down, Bill? Are they? Anybody want to have a crack at that there? Anybody want to have a crack at that? Anyone got? Go on. I'll, I've already said I'll I'll do mine if I can charter a flight to Turkey straight from here. This isn't growing back. Ed, um, Ed, we can't do this without coming over for a quick chat with you. Um, Gonna keep it real quick. Um, obviously, Geordie hasn't got a bike, he hasn't got a canoe, but my God, what a man. Mate, pleasantly surprised by his hair, to be honest. Um, he made a few photos up of what he may look like, and it looked dreadful. He actually looks rather handsome. Gibbo will, uh, will be very pleased. Quite, quite remarkable. This man. And by the way, Aki, by the way, Aki, just quickly, you know we did a we, you know we did a little whip around. Yeah. We only whipped around for around four hundred pounds on four. Told. That's it. Four hundred pounds in the cap. Quite incredible, Aki. I'll pass it over Bill, to how you. How are you feeling? Did G like it last time? Oh, she loved it, mate. She couldn't wait for it to get it back. Yeah. 
<laughs> she, she wanted bad boy Bill back, didn't she? Yeah? What about the kids? What are they thinking about the head shave? Do they know it's happening? No, my, my daughter cried leave last it, night when it, I told her, like so Give she'll like be that. crying in five and minutes when she sees me. And we won't. Um, and Bill, Bill, obviously, I'll probably get in trouble for this, but you and Jordy, um, obviously, going to start preseason together elsewhere, aren't we? We'll just, hey, we'll just announce it now, will we? Just uh, don't let a team do their own announcement. You get out in front of it. Do you want to say anything? No, no. Okay, yeah. Well, we don't know where you're off to, but <laughs> if you both turn up with bald heads in West London next year, then we'll see what happens. Okay? Are we leaving it like that? Do you want it we like can't that? Leave it like that. Do you want it Surely. like that to play against Bristol next week? Yes, yes. Let's get him finished. This, I feel like this was worth the price of a ticket alone this afternoon. This is there's quite women, remarkable. There's women, there's women that will pay for this blonde hair. 20 quid. Who wants this? 20 quid for a lump of Billy's hair. Come on. Look at me 20 quid. There we go. I said about 30 quid for a lump of Billy's hair. 30 quid. There it is. Anybody else? Anybody else? Sam Raven. Sam Raven. Come and shave your head. How much you love, Ed? Come on. Come on, Sam. Aki. Aki, how much? Not a chance. Aki. Aki, how much? Nah, I love... Come on, Aki. I've already told Ed. Aki, how much? I've already told Ed what I love him. Aki. I love Ed. Aki. 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 It wouldn't be possible. Aki. 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 I've raised enough for Ed already. You've done nothing so far. We've cycled 500 miles. Boys I'm of running, road to the end of the earth. I'm You've running done a nothing. marathon for Ed tomorrow, You've don't worry. You've done nothing. It's, Your wife's running a marathon. Running a, You're put, doing nothing. I put on a black tie doing a running a marathon for him. All you've okay. done so far is talk yeah, for Ed. Don't worry about me. Let's see something. Oh, back to Billy's head shave anyway. <laughs> look at good. Billy. How great, how great does Billy look with his head shaved? <laughs> Tell you what, Bill. Bill, that's getting you another three years, that. Honestly. Walk in, walk in there. Walk in there and ask Skivs now for three more years. Look at you. Bill, you look glorious. Aki. Aki, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, by the way, they have, neither of them is worth noting. You've all seen what they look like, but neither of them have. So Aki, let me give you this mirror I've got. Let's get Billy 12 Tree's reaction to him with no hair. Here we go. Ready? This could be a sight. British Lion. Billy, 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 come sit Lion. here, come sit here. Come and have a seat. Have a sit down. Here we go, the big reveal for both of them. If you have a look down there, and then a look in there. They're looking on the monitor that we've got in front of here. Jordy's uh, happy with himself, uh, aren't you? Billy, initial reactions, please. It is. I love it. I absolutely Rick, love it. Like I've got, I had about six dreadlocks like Jordy, so it saves me going to my uh, local barbers anyway. So I'm really scared about seeing my kids. I think my youngest will cry. Do you, do you feel lighter? Uh, yeah, I've probably got 10 more years. Why not? <laughs> Is that you committing now then, yeah? No, no, I'm, I'm happy with my time. Over to lads. We tried. Aki, in a second. George, George, what's your initial feedback on yourself? Go on. Very satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> that's cut, that's more, importantly, more importantly, Gibbo? Yeah, thumbs up uh, from Gibbo the wife. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, Max, that's good. Is Max happy? And Maxi? Yeah? Yeah, he's buzzing. Max, still not sure, still not sure what's going on there, but... We're now just taking random questions Excellent. from the crowd, by all accounts. It's now, it's all, everything's gone to pot. Yeah, go on. Can't hear you, the mics are really breaking up. Everything's okay. starting to get, from here, it's starting to get a little bit, don't know why. Ah, uh, Key. Oh, uh, no, this key. is not good for Mark Atkinson. Uh, this key. is not good at all. I can't. Stop. Mark, do you want me to try shave and bail you out? What? Just shave your head. I don't. I don't feel like he's I'll try and bail you out. Aki, I'll try and bail you out because we've got, we've got Lewis Ludlow and we've got Chris Harris with us. Uh, just, just very, very quickly before we, before we let you two go because we've got to uh, welcome someone else very important. Um, thoughts on the season just quickly. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's been a tough one. Um, it has been a tough one with, with everything surrounding you know, what's happened this year and it's, you know, it's been no, no secret how many injuries we've had, what's gone on. But um, I think what what the boys have done and that was shown again today is that whoever wears the shirt is willing to really really fight um 
on that show today, and that's that's what we said in our huddle at the end. There, we've we've got a chance to go and win the Rifles Cup, finish on a high next week, um, and hopefully finish the season with a with our own little trophy. And Chris, just finally on that mic, uh, uh, how's how's the baby? She's all right at the minute. Good. She's, she's good when she's sleeping. Good big home show, uh, big home show debut for both of you. Uh, well, she's been she's been to a few games to be fair. No, but big home show debut. The big home show. This oh yeah, is called the big home, home show, show debut. Yeah, right so now. Bloody and, and she's, she, and last, anything from you? Right. First and last appearance. Listen, last listen, last Chris, baby Chris Harris, and also Lewis Ludlow. Thank you so so much for joining us. Give it up for them thank both, you. everybody. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right. We have one final guest of the evening to welcome, as we say goodbye to, to, to Big and Little Harris, uh, and it's the Young Player of the Year. So we are into awards. So Young Player of the Year, Chris. <laughs> it is time to welcome on someone who's, who's only been here for a matter of months on the Big Home Show, but boy, has he made an impact, and boy, does he have a good surname as well, eh, Mark Atkinson? Young Player of the Year, everybody. Give it up for Seb Atkinson. <laughs> I don't think that's right, is it? A bit rude, that. Oh, th well, this is going to be a fun conversation, We've done it? I feel like this is deja vu because every time we have a big home show, Seb plays really, really well. Uh, last time we went to Exeter, man of the match, didn't we? Yeah, no. uh, but Seb, honestly, mate, amazing, amazing sort of since arriving. It's exactly what we needed. You've done brilliantly. How have you felt so far? Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone, like the coaches. Um, it was a bit of a a bad time um, at, at Worcester, but I couldn't have wished for anything better and just enjoy being out on the pitch and and playing in front of King's Home fans. Be on it, like tell the crowd like what that was like when you were losing, literally nobody's getting paid at Worcester, waiting around thinking what's next, what did that, what, what was the process like? Yeah, it was pretty dark times. Um, I was sat at home on the sofa trying to sort of keep positive, um, wasting my time playing video games, stuff like that, trying to keep my mind off it and then uh, Call came from Skivs, um, and I popped down, and then within sort of three or four days, I'd turn up to training. Wasn't expecting very much, um, but thankfully I got given the opportunity, and and I think it, it motivated me, me me even more to play, um, and I couldn't be more grateful for this club. So yeah, mate, you, you've smashed it. I think the they've taken you on board, the whole crowd's taken you on board, and, and I think the squads take you on board as well. So it's been uh, it's been a really impressive start to start to your career. And, and you. as well, it, interesting to know as well because you are still so young, and you've had you've had a season where you've created such an impact. Um, for you, I suppose I know it's still raw this season, but how are you going to sort of go into the summer and try and prepare for next season to then try and make another step up yeah um i think not to put any pressure on but you know just out of interest i think we got a long pre-season which will be nice um we can work hard probably get a little bit faster a bit stronger um i'm still pretty fresh to it so i don't think sort of the motivation side will be will be sort of missing uh, every time I, I pull on the shirt, I just try and do my best and I, I've just got to try and carry on. And, and just finally as well, how, when, when you're back, how are you two going to communicate? Because if we have Atkinson and Atkinson... We'll play together. It'll be fine, we'll play yeah, together. But who's, yeah, but who, if you call for Atkinson and, you know... We'll, yeah, we'll come up with a name for Seb, but there's no chance that people are going to start shouting Aki in the changing rooms. Yeah, we'll come for a name, don't we? He's, he, we'll be all right. Yeah. It's still Seb at the moment. Fine. There's no other Sebs, yeah. is there? Yeah. Not for now, yeah, anyway. Right. I don't know. I've heard about the signings for next season. No, I'm joking. I haven't heard, I haven't heard about anything. Uh, right, that is uh, you done, Seb. Thank you yeah. so, so much for joining us on The Big Home Show. Wonderful to see Thank you. And congratulations much, once more. Well done, Seb Atkinson, mate. Young Player of the Year, everybody. Cheers, guys. Thank you. We're going to auction these off, are we? Just Excellent stuff. And back to the head shave. Imagine this. Imagine you go home tonight, you go back to see your other half, and you've got 20 quid's worth of Geordie Reed's locks in your hand. Anyone who's not donated so far that wants these for 20 quid? Yeah, 20 quid cash, there we go. No, I don't have a card machine, but no, no, weirdly enough, I don't take that. Anyone, anyone, Charlie Sharples is there. Charlie Sharples, these could go some way to helping you out. 20 quid for Jordy Reed's locks, come on. By, by the way, quid. for the benefit of those watching the live stream, these are people in the crowd, by the way, Mark's not just pointing yeah. to nowhere. Charlie Sharples, you gonna put your hand in your pocket for these? Yeah. Lovely, lovely chaos. She's found 20 quid. She's come back, Chaz. What? <laughs> Look at him. He's wiping the sweat off his brow. Chaz didn't want to part with 20 quid then, did he? There you go. That's what we do. Jordy, you're a business model. You keep that, mate. 
quite quite incredible. So we're up to, I don't know where, what we're up to. We're probably not far off £14,000 now. A reminder, you can still donate. Please, please do it. Head to Just Giving right now. Get your phone out because they've both done it. Billy and Jordy have both done it. So if you were there saying, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it until they've actually done it. Well, they've done it now. Here's proof, literally proof. So get your phone out, head to Just Giving, uh, search for Four Ed Shave, and that is where you can donate uh, to the wonderful, wonderful cause that is the Four Ed Foundation, right? That is just about us done. By the way, Mark, as well, there's, there's a few people from Gloucester who are running the London yeah. Marathon for the same cause tomorrow. Yeah, all the same cause. There's four of the team, um, Tim, Dan, Dom, and my wife, Lydia. At the moment, they've not raised enough, and it's actually costing me money to let her run the marathon tomorrow. So if we I can... I've got your present. If we, is that for the, for the marathon campaign? That, is that right? Um, so yeah, so it's all for the same cause. So if we can have a look at the link, the donations, maybe now they don't need any more for the hair, donate to the marathon. It's all going to the same place. It'll be an amazing, amazing race tomorrow. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much, Mark. And, and lovely to have your company as well. How good has it been to have Mark Atkinson on the Big Home Show this season, everybody? He's been excellent. Where are you going on your summer holidays and how many of them are you having? I'm down to, down to London tonight to support my wife um, and the rest of the team. And then, um, obviously, because Seb got Young Player of the Year, I'm going to take no time off whatsoever. I'm going to come <laughs> straight back in and train dead hard. Yeah! Well, we can't wait to see you back in action. It's been brilliant to have you on the sofa, but we would all, we would all rather you were out on the pitch. Um, also, give a huge shout-out to Jordy Reid, everybody! <laughs> Jordy, you've done a wonderful, wonderful thing ending your time here at King's Home. We wish you all the very best uh, for your future endeavours. Uh, same thing goes for Billy Twelve Trees as well! And a big shout out for Seb Atkinson, Young Player of the Year. Woo! And just finally as well, from the No Tackle podcast, give it up for Millie Wood, everybody. Woo! So then, just like that, the big home show done for a season. We will be back next year. A reminder, though, plenty more rugby actually happening here at King's Home. Gloucester Hartbury, I mentioned, still wor uh, well worth a shout of the Premier 15's title, and that's going to be happening here in June, 24th of June. You can get your tickets for that right now. Also, of course, memberships are on sale for the 2023-24 season as well. We'll be here. We hope you will be too. Have a good evening. A lot has changed since we were founded in 1873. Since we printed the first program. Since we brought home our first trophy. Some things have changed. In the King's Home Fifth. In the wall of the shed. Sign up now for the 2023-24 season. 150 years of rugby history in our blood. <laughs>